Hello friends, my name is Viraj. Today I would like to show how to use air rotator control in ASP.NET. So let us begin with our tutorial. So select Visual Studio, go to the file, new, open a website, give a name to the website. Uh, this is a folder which we are created as an advertisement. So click on it and add an item. For advertisement and add it. So this is your coding part. Go to the design part. Go to the toolbox. Select add rotator. Go to the property. Target it on the blank. Give a width around 250 and height around 250. So, for adding an advertisement, first of most you require the logo of whatever you want to show somewhat if i want to show and google so i require a google logo if you want to show any sort of facebook or somewhat reddit or gmail then you just require the images of those company a website so let so first we will require and folder where our all pics will be stored so add the name of your folder I am images and just add the image whatever you require in your advertisement on your and root control so copy the stuff first I would like to copy and Google so just paste off here on your folder images then I would like to have an Yahoo just copy it paste it that I would require a gmail paste it that I would require and read if just paste it so we have an Ford logo of different companies now for the advertisement You require to have an XML file where all image URL, navigation URL, and alternative text to be presented are used inside the advertisement code. So, first add, go to an add new item and select an XML file and just add it so this is your XML file and just remain it copy right inside the code just paste it advertisement close the bracket paste it now inside that write capital A D capital A small d capital A small d just click on it go to your advertisement axpx page right click on it you can see here 
navigation URL, image URL, and alternative text. Just copy this. Copy that. Go to the XML page. Open. Close it. And just paste it off the image URL. Now, what is our folder name? Image. And which pic you want it. So, first we will begin with Google pic for our advertisement. So, write image slash go to your google pic remain rename it and copy the name of the pic with its extension so this will not create any problem and just paste it now you require a navigation url so go to the advertisement right click go to the property here you can see Navigation URL, navigate URL. Just copy it. Open. Close it. Just paste it off. Now, you require a navigation URL. So, go to the Google Chrome. Add a name Google. Click here and select this link. Where on clicking on that image, it will navigate to this page. So just copy the URL link. Open your Visual Studio and just paste the URL link. Now you require an alternate text. So let us go to advertisement AXPX. Go to the property. And select here alternate text. Just copy it. Go to your XML page. Open. Close. Paste it off. And write a text for it. Google. So this is your per advertisement for an image Google. The same way add for all the three image. So just I am pasting here. Go to your folder. Now I require a Gmail pick, so just remain it, copy the name of the image with the extension, copy, just paste it off, here also at alternate text, write the name, and you require a navigate URL for Gmail, so go to you are browser and select your gmail so write your gmail and let us click here and navigate this sort of url link for your for your gmail logo so just copy that link and paste it off now our next image will be Yahoo. So just rename it. Copy the name of an image with the extension what jpgpng. Copy it. Paste it. Now go to Yahoo. Click here, select this navigation URL link, 
copied it. Paste it right here. Yeah. Ooh. Again, last pick name red if rename it copy the name of the pick with the with the extension just paste here also enter the name alternative text and provide a navigation url for it Select this navigation link, copy it, and just paste it on. So, right click on it, go to the property. You can see unique code UTF 8. So, this is your encoding part. So, go to your advertisement, right click, go to the property. Here it is required an advertisement file. So just click here. We have only one XML file. Click on it and select it as OK. Here our target is on the blank. So let us see. Let us browse it. Okay. So here is your Gmail logo. Here we are going to our create gmail account whatever url we have selected navigation url it is going to say means it is working out just re reload it now this is a google logo so click on it it is navigating to your google search engine page now reload it it is a redtip.com so click on it it is going to reddit dot com page the uh, url which we have selected so let's just reload it oh this is your yahoo logo click on it it is navigating to your yahoo page so in this way we can use ad rotator for advertisement so Thanks for watching it. If you like, share, comment it, subscribe it. Thank you for watching it. Bye.